everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button because I bring you new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now I've pretty much got my home decorated for fall. As you can see my coffee bar behind me. I need to work on the porch and maybe a little bit in the living room, but for the most part, I really didn't need a much more fall decor to add. However, the Target dollar spot gets me every time. I can't help myself. If you guys are the same way, give this video a thumbs up. I know I can't walk by it without looking every single time. And a lot of their fall decor was stuff that I knew I could use year round, so not just for fall. So I was on the hunt for some of it. I had gone to several and there was nothing, maybe a little, a few things here and there. But I live in the Midwest and I'm not sure if it's like this everywhere, but I know lots of the Target stores around here right now are actually going through a big remodel. So there's huge tents in the parking lot. The sign has been ripped off the front. They're repainting. They have the store tore apart. So I just don't think that the Target dollar spot is actually like what is top priority on their mind right now. So I think that's why I've had such a hard time finding it. Now, with that said, I had to take my daughter to the doctor's office today. So we were kind of in a different area than we usually go for shopping and there was a Target. We stopped in, it was not doing any of the renovations or anything, and we just got lucky. The cart was sitting out, they had just unboxed everything. So they had a ton of stuff to choose from. If you're not following me over on Instagram and Facebook, I'll link those down below. I actually took you guys along with me. So if you like kind of seeing me in the moment shopping, that's a good place to do it, because of course you're seeing this video days or even a week later, but that's a great way to see it in the moment. But today I'm going to share with you the haul and all of the great things that I found, not only fall, but also everyday items that you'll be seeing in my tutorials and my Instagram feeds for displays and ideas and inspiration for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into the Target Dollar Spot haul. All right, so the first two items were a must find on my list. They are the tiered trays. So there's this really pretty white one that is metal. It's almost, it doesn't have the chippiness of an enamel, but it has the look of the white farmhouse enamel. So even if you wanted to add, you know, some black paint or some black Sharpie marker to this, you could easily turn this into an enamel tiered tray. I love that it's neutral. So the other one that I just absolutely had to, had to find was this really pretty wood and metal one. You guys know I love the wood and metal combo. So this has real wood for the trays and then a pretty black metal rod up the middle with this cute little um, ring at the top. So I loved this. There was one more tiered tray that they even had. They had all three luckily when I went shopping. Um, the other one is the black metal wire basket type tier tray and I actually already have that. That was one that they had, I want to say earlier this year, maybe like, um, like winter time, maybe um, January, February, something like that. I got that quite a while back. There was another one and I can't remember what it looked like, but I never could find the other one. I want to say it was similar to this one though. So anyway, now I have all three of the tiered trays that I really, really wanted, and these were only $5 each. Now I was really, really lucky to find one of these uh, Buffalo Check pumpkin pillows. So it's got the Buffalo Check on the back, Buffalo Check pumpkin on the front. I wish I could have found one more because I'd like to actually put these on the porch. I want to do a really neutral front porch instead of like the oranges and things this year. I kind of already have it. I'll, I'll link that video down below too. a uh, tour of the front porch, which we decorated back in the spring. And I've left it that way because I just love it. I love it so much. I don't want to veer too much off of that. So I just want to accent it or accent it and add some more of the same type of elements for fall. So this was perfect. It's got the pumpkin on the front, so it's nice and fallish, but it doesn't sort of interrupt the flow of the style of the porch that I've already got going. And the other one I grabbed was, it says our nest. So it's black with like a uh, embroidered white uh, thread on the front. I went ahead and grabbed this to put in the other chair on the front just to have something similar, but I'll still be hunting around. If I can find another one of these, I'll definitely 
be grabbing it. And each one of these pillows was only $5 each. These next two items are actually my daughter's that she picked up. She was with me today and she wants something more neutral too. So she grabbed these really cute pumpkins that have like a speckle to them. So they're white with a black speckle and it's just a banner and these were $3. And the other thing she grabbed was this really pretty uh, fabric pumpkin. It's almost like a microfiber or something like that. Oh, it says suede. So it's a suede pumpkin. This was only $1 and I was actually really jealous because if there was more of these, I probably would have grabbed a couple for myself too because I just really think they're super cute and they're only a dollar. So that was for her too. They also have lots of crates. I love crates because you can put stuff in them. You can flip them upside down and sort of use them as a tiered tray. You can tilt them on the side and use it as a background and a shelf. So I love crates. So they have this white one here and this was only $3. I should have probably grabbed the neutral toned one because I really loved that one too, but I felt like I was already grabbing a little more than I should anyway, so I limited it to just this one. Now I also have some really great ideas for upcoming DIY projects and tutorials that you'll be seeing here on my channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do and hit the bell too so that you get notified on your phone um, or in your notifications when I have a new video posted. So that's a great tip. If you really enjoy DIY projects, then you'll be one of the first to see when mine go up. So a few of these are for those upcoming DIYs. And the first one is this palette style circle sign. So it has a jute hanger on the back. It's got some little connector bars in the back too, or slats. So just something really simple that's going to be a project. So this guy was only $3. Also, I loved this. This is just a wood arrow. It also has a jute hanger on the back. And this one was only $3 too. I loved this. This is a really good sized sort of faux shutter. I'm not so sure I like the color black, so it may get an update if that is a hint to you. This is only $5. Now I really love natural and neutral decor more than I really love patterns. As much as I love Buffalo Check, I really like just everything really neutral. Everything kind of flows and works together. Doesn't throw anything off. So when I saw this cute little woven basket, jumped right on it. This was $5 as well, but super cute to use as a tray or, you know, to organize things, put on your desk. So lots of ideas you can use these cute little baskets for. They're a really nice size too. And speaking of baskets, I finally found, these were on my must find list too, are these super cute tobacco baskets. So the reason I love these baskets is because they're little. I don't know why, I feel like everything in little size is just super cute. So I picked both of these up. Uh, one is neutral in a square shape and they're both $3 each, but I really, really loved this white one. Uh, that is a circle and this was also three dollars another thing I've been seeing around Instagram a lot are these super cute trays they're so tiny they're only a dollar and they had these white ones and then the neutral tone one so of course for a dollar I went ahead and grabbed both now the banners that I grabbed one I had to have this is so stinking cute it says home each letter is white and then it's got the wreath in the middle I just love this. It's just classic farmhouse style and it was only $3. And then this one accidentally found its way into my cart. I think what I did is I grabbed this and this was in the front and then had this in my hand and somehow it's stuck in the cart. I don't even remember um, actually even looking at it. It is a, a craft paper banner. It was only a dollar so it's not that big a deal. I'm sure it will come in handy for something but it's already got the dovetail ends on it and then you can write on it and make it say whatever you like. I also found this cute little pumpkin. I thought this, this would be really, really cute on the porch. It is $3. They had this one, which is smaller, and then they had like a tall, skinny one. And I didn't think the tall, skinny one looked very much like a pumpkin or else 
I probably would have grabbed that one too. Um, but I just grabbed this one. Definitely looks like a cute little pumpkin, which would be really cute for outside. And now for the last two items in my Target Dollar Spot haul, I found these adorable chalkboards. They're little tabletop chalkboards. So they have this cute little wooden base with a chalkboard top. And these were $5, but you get four of them in here. So it's only $1.25 per chalkboard. And I just see some really cute DIYs coming up using these. And last but not least are these towels. So one I actually really like. It says October 31st on it. But of course I grabbed this because it has the Buffalo Check towel on it. This was $3 and you know you can use towels for more than just a hand towel. You can set it underneath um, your centerpieces like on your kitchen table. I use them on my dining room table. I put them in the little baskets like this to add some texture. You can put them out on your porch, put them underneath your off of a hay bale. Um, if you have a side table outside, you can kind of use that for some added uh, texture and pattern. So, I mean, I'm just giving you lots of different ideas where you can use these. You don't have to use them just as a hand towel. So that's all I have in my Target Dollar Spot haul. I wanna say like, that's all I have, but I feel like I kind of went a little bit crazy for me anyway. I'm pretty conservative when it comes to things like that. But whenever you hit a Target Dollar Spot that's like fully stocked, it's really hard to pass it up. So let me know down in the comments below which items in my haul today are you on the hunt for? And please give this video a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I have lots more great DIY tutorials in the link next to me. Don't forget to follow me over my Instagram and Facebook pages. I'll have those linked down below and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.